Hey, hey, Oliver from Out For Easy, here to give you another fantastic juicing recipe video. And I hope that you've been reading up on my articles, thoughts, ideas, recipes. And if you have any questions that need to be urgently answered, feel free to drop me a comment. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Right, I'm gonna show you what ingredients I'm gonna be using today. I've got here a nice big marrow. Bowl. I've got some parsley, good for the breath, and some juicy pineapple too. I've got some blueberries, I've got two cartons here, but I've got three cartons for two quid on the farmer's market, which in my opinion is a bargain. And I'm going to use half a cucumber here, but I've got the other half just in case I need to use it. Right, so you may be thinking, what the hell? Why am I using this marrow? Use your loaf, mate. Well, marrow, I mean, in my opinion, it doesn't have much taste. It's just like eating a courgette, and it's a nice watery-based vegetable. I mean, if I was to put a leek in with a bunch of fruit, you'd be like, you're insane. What the hell are you doing? <sighs> God, you're mental. But no, no. Just got some nice green refreshing vegetables and fruits too that's gonna refresh in your breath and you're gonna feel re-energized revitalized and it's gonna be great in effectively helping you to lose weight so I'm gonna you know just skin off this marrow and that wasn't the most perfect cut in the world um, skin in, otherwise it's going to taste like dirt. There you go. I think I've hacked it now. Right. Let's turn the juicer on. My baby. Ready to rumble.
this on this plate, please. Appreciate your patience, guys. You may be thinking, God, what's this fool doing? Making a mess, dropping bits of vegetable and fruit everywhere. But you know, it doesn't matter. We want to make this as fun and exciting as possible. So, right, back to a high spin. Tonight, I'll probably have some of this with a bowl of butternut squash soup I made myself the other day. Look at that. So tantalising. Yet, yeah. also so alkaline. So, already about store-bought juices and when people go on a diet and I see them buy concentrated orange juice I'm like what are you doing it's not healthy for you when the when juices get manufactured during the manufacturing process I mean do you think they still have all the vitamins and minerals contained within the juice? Of course not. They get evaporated at such high temperatures that they new lose the nutritional value. At least when you make yourself a juice, as you just watched me do here, with a variety of fun looking fruits and vegetables, you know that you're getting good quality vitamins minerals and other essential macronutrients into your body. You just can't beat it. 100% natural, 100% pure. Of course, buying concentrated juices is a lot cheaper, but you're only paying a few extra quid more to enjoy the benefits of living strong and healthy. And, you know, what would you rather do? Oh, this is the one. This is the one. And I recommend that you give it a go. Mm. Parsley is making my breath fresh already. <laughs> Great as well if you've just finished off a bit of garlic that you've um, used as an ingredient to prepare your alkaline recipes. So yeah, make more juices, avoid concentrated juices, eat more fruits and vegetables baby. That's what I'm talking about. So. If you like what I've just done there, please comment below, like this video, and follow me on Twitter, and feel free to ask me a ton of questions. I'd love to answer them. Right, that's me done now. I'll see you guys later. As I always say, peace out.